Yo, what up? Kip Toe here, and I've been teasing this for a long time. You guys have been waiting for this, and I'm so stoked to give this to you. I've been designing shirts for so long. I've been doing this since I was in like high school, making all sorts of different graphic designs, going around the sides and over the top and back around the shoulders and just like doing like one-offs for myself. And I'm super excited to kind of like bring this to a new dimension and have all my mural works and all my paintings like be able to come to life in the form of a t-shirt that you can wear. And I've been kind of like chewing over this for months and months and like figuring out the best way to like get it out there and reveal it and I'm done waiting. I'm just ready to give it to you guys. I'm ready to send it out there and like show it to the world. And like, I love like a classic design. This is like my Superman logo kind of thing. Like my Superman type, where we have like this Kip Toe logo on the chest there represents our power and our passions and our strengths. And I love that. And we got the back here too. And this is like a classic staple shirt for me that I started with. I was able to like work my way into and now I'm ready to expand and grow and move on to like the big boy stuff. And that's why I'm super excited to share this next collection with you guys. I've been experimenting back and forth, pushing and pulling, figuring out which direction I wanted to go in, which designs I wanted to use, how to put them actually on the shirt, doing a whole bunch of behind the scenes work, photoshopping everything together to make it look like it's supposed to be on this shirt folding around. And I'm thinking like, how do I get my big ass murals and my big ass paintings on a shirt and I don't want it to be just like a regular shirt with like a regular graphic on the front and on the back. I want this to be full encompassing, basically wearing a mural, wearing a painting. And I found out, you know, there's a way to do that. Uh, let's just start. I'm going to show you the first design, which is based on a tiki mural that I painted in a backyard in Los Angeles. fun doing this mural and I loved the kind of designs that I used. It's also a sticker pack and now it's turned right into a t-shirt. Let me show you. Oh yeah, I love this t-shirt. It's badass, it's styling. It's got this like boom centerpiece tiki right here. It like accentuates your chest here and it brings you down into your abs. You got the mouth here and the second tiki on the bottom here. And like the blues are super saturated. And on the side here, we got the, the Pegasus horse wrapping around with the logo here, wrapping all the way around. And on this side, we have this badass chick with this eagle staff coming through here, wrapping around all the way. You can see her face there. And then on the back, we have this second tiki encapsulating the entire shirt. And check this out. You're just like a walking tiki with this like awesome three color red, blue, and gold. I love wearing this shirt. I, I, it's like I'm wearing like a spiritual tribesman totem connected to my whole body. And it's just like total 360. Even in the armpits, you know, you got stuff going on in the armpits. And I just, I love how these t-shirts work. It's called sublimation and they print it on a big flat piece of fabric and then they cut out each individual pattern like the sleeves, the front and the back and they sew it together one by one. So there's no missing pieces. Everything is covered. The entire shirt is covered in a design and it's super soft and comfortable and it's like breathable and the designs are, are super crisp but they're not, they're not fuzzy. You know, you can see them. They're, they got nice crisp lines to them and I just love it. I think it came out really nice. So this is one of the t-shirts that has turned from a mural into a shirt. And for the next shirt, I turned one of your guys' favorite murals and paintings from my solo show into a shirt that you can wear and it wraps all the way around in this huge energetic motion. Can't wait to show you. Ready? Oh, so this one is based off of Momentum, which was originally painted in France for that stop motion animation. And then I painted it again for my solo show. And I really like how this t-shirt came out. It floats from here and it spins all the way around onto the sleeve and then back onto the back of the shirt. And it's this one's super, this is a crazy wild t-shirt. And the detail in here, you can see the paint strokes in there. You can see how it was all painted. And I mean, you're bound to get some looks when you're wearing this thing. It'll spark up some sort of conversation and it'll uh, keep the spirit of the momentum bird with you. You know, keep the flow going. If you're struggling, just, 
put this shirt on you and get the momentum going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude's ready to attack. Again, super soft, comfortable. It's stretchy. It's nice and thin, but not too thin. I like this one a lot, but you know what I like even more? The next one. You ready to see that one? Here we go. Boom! All right, I love this shirt. This is wild. I boosted up the vibrance and the contrast of this one to be on the shirt to really just make it pop. And the colors are super vibrant. They came out super nice. And again, you can see all the paint strokes in here. You can see where the paint was applied in the original painting. It's really coming to life and just like super fierce and, and ready to go in just a wild shirt. I basically took the Rift painting, that triptych. Smashed it together. And then I was able to put that front center piece right on the front here to really create that dynamic anchor point. And then for the back, I had those two seahorses on the outskirts. And then I kind of like slammed those together and then played with the middle there to kind of create this rift and this kind of void going in there. Like they're splitting apart this time and space. For sizing reference, I'm wearing a medium. All these shirts are mediums. I'm like a six foot tall skinny dude and they fit me great as a medium. So just as a little reference for yourself. Now, if these are too loud, too wild and crazy for your tastes, I made a much sleeker, kind of slicker design with a pattern on it that's still based on my murals, but will cut out little pieces and like put into a cool pattern. Let me show you. Boom. Oh, nice and sleek, nice and savvy. Little pattern going on there. And guess what? These are all hands. You know, I love painting hands, strong, badass hands. I cut out a bunch of those from a whole different bunch of murals from around the world. And then I put them into a pattern and place them on this shirt. Here's a little highlight reel from all of the murals that I painted around the world with these hands. love wearing this one because you can even still see all the little tiny little details from all the hands but they're small enough that they're not like blaring and glaring and being weird but they're like big enough so you can still see it if you see it from far away it's just like a cool pattern but you know you get up close and you can see all these cool little hands you know a couple of them are gripping different things you got the sword hand here from buenos aires this one's from the box truck you know this one's from the desert that i painted in palm desert this is from berlin with the lion head right here we got the world holder from london this is king blue with the tiki torch from manizales in colombia and you know who says you gotta just wear your pajamas in quarantine right let's try and get a little funk a little fashion back in the game I'm saying now because of the nature of how these shirts are made where they're printed on flat fabric cut out and sewn together one by one um, they only go up to 2x but the original OG black t-shirts are now all the way up to 4x for those big boys who have emailed me about that before also they take just a little bit longer to fulfill and ship out because of how they are made the company that I'm using is a little bit short-handed because of the coronavirus right now so just be patient when you order and um, it'll definitely come to you but just may take a little bit longer than normal. And I want to mention that I'm doing a raffle. So all you have to do is take a photo of yourself wearing the shirt. Once you order it, it comes in the mail, you put it on, you're feeling great. Take a photo of yourself wearing it, put it on Instagram. So you get one point for putting it on your story and you get three points for putting it on your feed. All those points add up to your name in a raffle and the more points you get, the more chances you have of winning an original drawing for free. Like this one or this one or something of your choice. So again, when you get your t-shirt, make sure to put it on, take a photo, put it on Instagram, hashtag Kipto Swag, and tag me at Kipto1 to enter for your chance to win. The raffle ends on May 30th. Boom, back to classic. All right, so we've established all these crazy new shirts. If you're not into any of that and you wanna have some chill time in this quarantine, I still got you covered. 
Boom, pillows, baby, Kiptoe pillows. Check this out. This is the Rift painting in pillow form. Super comfy. You can just freaking chill super hard with these and style. That's nice. If you don't like this one, then bam, I got the momentum piece here for you in pillow form. Look at this. And if you don't like that one, I got the freaking reach pillow for you here. This is the tiger hand. You wanna spice up your couch, give it that feng shui, that little funk, little pop of color. And finally, bam, this 18 inch crazy square pillow based on my painting that I did in London. With all these crazy characters coming up here in this helmet, deep purples and pinks. This one also comes in a square as well. It comes in this size too. There's a bunch of different sizes you can pick out and choose whichever floats your boat, whichever floats your style, man. Freaking so many choices. Lots of new stuff. This is just the beginning. I've been working on this for so long. This is a new wave of merch that I'm pumping out here. I know times are tough now for everyone, but I couldn't wait any longer for this. I just had to get it out there and see what happens and see if you guys are digging this. I got so many more ideas coming along the way, down the pipeline, stuff that's not finished yet, stuff that has yet to be released, and new merch and new t-shirts and new accessories are gonna be coming down all along the pipeline as we continue along 2020. And as new murals are painted, new t-shirts will go along with those designs, and I'll even be making like process videos of me making the t-shirt designs and taking you guys along for the ride. So I hope you dig the new merch. I'm really excited about this collection of crazy freaking t-shirts and designs and pillows and all this cool sort of stuff going on here. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments. Hope uh, you guys are inspired by all this and you're able to support me in this new avenue I'm going down. If you'd like a special discount on the merch, make sure to hit up my Patreon where the members get an exclusive discount just for patron members. And also that's where I'm sharing like real-time process videos, explaining my process or murals or digital paintings or real paintings. I'm doing Q and A's where you guys ask me questions and I'm there responding with as much detail as I possibly can. You guys get to know me a little better and anything else you guys are looking forward to seeing. That's it for now. Stay tuned in a few days. I'll be dropping another collaboration with my good friend Shupa from Paris. And she came to California to visit me. So make sure to stick around for that in a few days. As well as more Kiptoe crits where I'm critiquing your artwork and telling you how to make it that much better. More episodes of character drawings and whatever else I got going down the pipeline, which is a lot. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep feeding that kinetic imagination.